this is a wonderful story. You know how much uh, the Catholic Church and Catholic uh, hospitals have in the past refused to um, provide uh, things like emergency contraception to rape victims because, of course, the idea that you're um, that you're uh, potentially um, a fertilized egg is a precious human life, a person, if you will, that we don't have the, you know, you got to remember, ladies, you're just a vessel to grow these things inside of you. And we know how much the right has been pushing for, you know, that's why um, they have problems with abortion, uh, no, with, uh, with uh, contraceptive pills, having to, at their hospitals, say, or their non- religious institutions provide uh, health insurance that covers things like uh, contraception. Well, uh, apparently, in Colorado, the Catholic Health Initiatives, an Englewood-based nonprofit that runs the St. Thomas More Hospital and 170 other health facilities in 17 states, uh, is starting to sing a slightly different tune. They are being sued for wrongful death by a Jeremy Stodgehill, whose wife and um, his wife was sent to a uh, one of their hospitals. She uh, was having problems with her pregnancy. She had, um, she was pregnant with twins in her womb. She died in the hospital an hour after she arrived there. The uh, OBGYN was not, um, was supposed to be on call, was not available, did not answer the phone. The, um, the case says, that they should have ordered a cesarean section to um, perhaps save the life of the mother and perhaps save the lives of the child, the, the, um, the twins. The lead defendant in the case, like I said, is this Catholic Health Initiatives. They, um, they witnessed to the sanctity of life from the moment of conception until uh, death. This is a directive for their hospitals. The church's defense of life encompasses the unborn. But when it came to mounting a defense in the Stodgill case, the Catholic health lawyers effectively turned the church directives on their head, according to the Colorado Independent. They are arguing that state law protects doctors from liability concerning unborn fetuses on the grounds that those fetuses are not persons with legal rights. Uh oh. Attorney for the Denver based uh, uh, attorney for the um, organization argued in one of the briefs that he filed for the def uh, defense the court should not overturn the long standing rule in Colorado that the term person, as it is used in the Wrongful Death Act, encompasses only individuals born alive. Colorado State Court defines person under the act to include only those born alive. Therefore, plaintiffs cannot maintain wrongful death claims based on two unborn fetuses. I have to say, I agree with the defense in this case. Um, they were not born alive. They're not persons in the context of civil society and do not have the same rights as persons would. But it's interesting to see the Catholic Church come around on this. When, of course, uh, some of their millions of millions of millions of dollars that they generate in this business. Um, or I should say $15 billion worth of assets are on the line.